Hello everybody and welcome to this demonstration video on our Sunlight T68 Luxury 4x. So today we're going to start with the outside demonstration. Our first port of call are keys. So as with all of our Sunlight motorhomes, the vehicle comes with two keys. The first key is for the cab area, lock and unlock, and this key will also work in the door barrel. The second key is the habitation key. So this key operates pretty much everything else on the exterior. As we make our way down the side of the camper van, our first port of call here is your electrical hookup point. So if, if you are on a campsite, this is where you will plug in the electrical lead, which is supplied in the rear. The flap lifts up and the lead plugs in. It will only fit one way. Next, we'll move down along to the habitation door. This is the entrance into the vehicle. Here, we have our toilet door. So to open the toilet door, you need to push both buttons. You will need both hands. This lifts up and the door stays in situ. Inside here, we have our toilet cassette. To empty the toilet cassette, you will need to lift the orange handle and pull the cassette gently towards you. On your campsite, there'll be a designated area to empty this cassette. Next, we'll have a look at our gas storage box. First, rotate both of these to gain access. Ensure the door clicks into position to hold it securely out of the way. Inside, we have two gas bottles. Both gas bottles are connected all of the time. We advise you use one gas bottle to the very end, and then you can switch from one cylinder to the other. To do that, simply rotate the regulator from left to right or right to left. To turn on or off the gas system, on the top of the gas bottle you have selected rotate left to turn it on and right to turn it off. It's good practice to always have the gas off while you're traveling and on while you're parked. All of our Sunlight motorhomes are equipped with a grey water storage tank. To drain the grey water tank, you will use the key supplied. The tap for the grey water tank is located on the passenger side of the vehicle in front of the rear wheel. The lever attaches to the tap. To open, turn through 90 degrees only. Once the tank has been emptied, please remember to close it again afterwards. Our storage compartment. The T68 has a huge storage area. It uses these egg-shaped locks as all of the Sunlight camper vans do. Unlock with the key and rotate. The door swings around to a latch. Make sure that it is latched before you walk away from it. And inside this huge storage area, you will have supplied an electrical hookup lead and a water filler hose. The electrical hookup lead connects at the front and the water filler hose connects on the passenger side. At the rear of the camper van, we have a four bike bike rack. This drops down into position, maximum four bikes on any of these racks and please ensure you bring extra bungee cords or straps to secure your bikes in place. On the passenger side, we have an exhaust vent. This is for the heating system. Please ensure that you do not hang any bag or baggage or leave anything obstructing the flow of warm air from this vent. The water filler cap. The water filler cap unlocks with the habitation key and you can use the water hose supplied. The water tank level is displayed inside Remember, fresh water only, 
and the tank will store approximately 120 litres. The diesel filler. The ignition key opens the diesel filler cap. You will receive the motorhome filled to the top with diesel. Please make sure that it's topped up with diesel before you drop it off. So that's everything on the outside of the van. Let's have a quick look inside. Starting in the cab area, our first port of call are the two front captain seats. So for your convenience, both of these seats will swivel around 180 degrees. To do that, simply push forwards the lever here at the base of the seat and gently rotate the seat around. So this is our main seating area. One of the first things we look at are our light switches. So throughout the camper van, we have LED lighting. Example, these spotlights overhead. The first set of switches in the camper van are located here on the bottom side of this storage locker. Two switches. We also have a storage compartment on the wall. Next, we'll look at the main dining table. So the table can be fixed in position or with a 90 degree movement of the lever underneath the table here. It can also be moved forwards and backwards, left and right. Once you have found your desired position, simply lock the lever into place. This is very handy for seating extra people around the table. The storage boxes in the T68 have a push button mechanism to open and they also have a soft closer mechanism. Please ensure that when the door has fully closed that it latches into position. Above the main habitation door we have the control panel. This is the main control panel for all of the electrics in the vehicle. The first button is the most important one it has a green LED beside it. This is the power button, on and off. If you wish to use anything in the rear of the camper van that is electrical, you will need to have this power button on. On the right hand side, from the top, the first button is our battery check button. This displays the voltage in your leisure battery. Next, we have our fresh water. This again, on the same LED display, shows what level or what percentage of water remains in the fresh water tank. The last one is the grey water tank. This indicates the level of grey water in the tank and what space is left. Finally, up on top, we have a symbol for the plug-in. When you are on site and plug in your electrical lead, a small LED will illuminate here to indicate that you are plugged in correctly. Inside the habitation door, we have three switches. The first one is for the electric step, up and down. The next one is the main interior light switch, on and off. The third one is for the main interior light in the living area. Next, we come to the fridge. The fridge has a freezer compartment in the top and it has a fridge compartment in the bottom. To turn on the fridge, this is the power button. Hold this button. It brings up an array of options. The first one the fridge is currently left on is A for automatic. When it's on A for automatic, the fridge will detect which power source is available and automatically go to that. If you wish to manually rotate through the power options, you can press the power button once, and then the first small square rotates. Mains electricity, 12 volt or battery. It will only operate on battery while the engine is running. And finally, gas. The gas will only operate when the gas bottle is switched on outside. Finally, this button, the last button, will rotate through the temperature of the fridge, with the highest bars being the lowest temperature. 
In the kitchen area, our first port of call are the two light switches located underneath this unit. Also, back here, we have a three pin mains electricity plug-in point. In the kitchen area, we have a three ring gas hob. This is located underneath this glass panel. Lift and each of these gas rings are operated by the relevant knob here. So twist and it's manual ignition. So there will be a lighter provided in the storage box. Also, we have our sink area. Please ensure the tap is rotated away from the glass panel before you lift it up to use it. Also in the kitchen area, we have two more power points. The first one on the left hand side is a 12 volt power connection. This is ideal for charging phones or iPads. The second power connection is a three pin plug. This is for mains electricity only, for example, using a hairdryer or electric kettle. Just below the surface of the worktop in the kitchen area, we have three gray gas toggles. These are all left in the correct position, which is up and down. Please do not adjust these as it may cause confusion. The oven in the kitchen area is gas fired. Please ensure the gas is turned on at the gas bottle before you operate. To operate, simply rotate left for oven and use the electronic ignition button and rotate right for the grill. The T68 has a very impressive rear sleeping area. This consists of two full-size single beds with the option of changing this entire area into a large double bed. To do that, we need to pull this section forwards. Once it has been converted into a double bed, we have a ladder for ease of access. In the rear sleeping area, we have headboard switches. So there are light switches on both the right and the left hand side. Next, we'll have a look at the bathroom, toilet and shower area. The shower area has a pull down hanger system. This can be used for hanging wet or dry clothes. To use the shower area, it's important that this floor storage area is first removed. Come nightfall, the toilet door will rotate across to create a separate bedroom area at the rear of the vehicle. The T68 is equipped with a standard cassette toilet. Simply lift the lid, Close it afterwards. We have a blue flush button located over here. And we also need to use the lever at the bottom of the cassette, left and right. The light switch for the toilet area is located just below the wash on basin. The T68 is equipped with a Truma iNet heating system. This is an excellent heating system with a number of options. We'll go through some of the basic options now. To toggle through the options, you use the circular button. This rotates and presses in to select an option. When we press the button, the first option we see is a picture of a thermometer inside of a camper van. This is for the air temperature and or nighttime temperature in particular. Probably similar to at home, once you press the button, you can rotate through and set a temperature for use at night time. Once you've found your desired temperature, simply click to start the heating system. When the heating system is not in use, please turn it back to zero and off. The next option, if we rotate once right, is the water heater. So this is a picture of a thermometer in a wave. Again, press the button to select off eco hot and boost are our options if you require hot water very quickly boost hot is the standard heating up system eco will take a little bit longer 
when not using the system, please ensure it is off. Next on the list, we have the electrical hookup option. At present, our camper van is left on gas only. This means the heating system will only operate on gas. However, if we rotate to mix one, this means while you are plugged in, the camper van will heat the water on both electricity and gas. Mix two offers the same. Electric one, EL1, is for electrical water heating only. EL2, electrical water heating only. And again, please leave the camper van back to the desired setting. Finally, our last option is the circulation vent. We have just two options here, off and vent. When vent is selected, hot air will be pumped throughout the interior of the van. All of our camper vans are equipped with blackout blinds. Please gently lower the blinds. They click in in two locations. When letting them up, please let them up gently to the top. The T68 is a four berth motorhome with four seat belts. The second double bed is located in the ceiling area. To drop this double bed, please press across the lever and gently lower the bed into position. There is a ladder supplied which connects on here for access. To put the bed back into the lock position, please use both hands and gently lift the bed. It's important to make sure that it has locked into position both left and right. The T68 is on a Fiat Ducato chassis and it comes with the comfort pack. This includes cruise control and air conditioning. As well as that, the Ducato is a six speed manual. Lights are located here, on and off. Wipers are on the right hand side. In the cab area, we have two charging points. The first one is a USB connection and the second one is a 12 volt.